I went to film school so you don't have to. So let's describe the differences between a CCD sensor, 3CCD sensor, and a CMOS sensor. Let's start with CCD. CCD sensors stand for charged coupling device. These were very popular in older cameras, including older broadcast cameras. They were known for their high color fidelity and accuracy, as well as their low grain and noise. However, they were extremely power hungry and expensive to produce. Now, 3CCD takes it a step further. It uses a prism to split light into three different grids, a red one, a blue one, and a green one. This is praised for very high color accuracy, and if one pixel is to fail, then the other two grids can make up for that color. There was no interpolation needed because all the color was stored in data through these three grids. This development was very bulky, it was also pricey, however it was very good for low light scenarios and for taking as much color data as possible from the environment and the light that enters the lens. Now moving on to CMOS, which stands for Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor. These are the newer sensors used in all modern digital cameras, including your phone. These use a buyer pattern, which is a pattern that goes on the pixel grid of the sensor and is composed of three colors, green, blue, and red as well. There are two times as many green as any other color because these are the sensors that we have more of in our eyes and the color that also appears more naturally in the environment around us. These can make up all the other colors together, but if one pixel is to fail, then we lose a lot of information because we do not have other pixel grids to make up for that color. Because it's only one grid, it is cheaper, easier to produce, and mass produce as well. However, you have to interpolate information based on these three colors, and other colors are not stored natively. In conclusion, CCD gives you analog power, and CMOS gives you true digital reconstruction color that we use today.